I'm Joe Schlitzer, the Northern California Siemens Product Specialist for e and There is a new security feature in TIA V19 that you will want to be aware of. When adding in a new S7-1500 with firmware 3.1, you will be greeted with the security wizard that was introduced back in TIA V17. Now there is a new screen in that wizard, PLC Access Protection. Let me show you. Enabling access control turns on global user management in the project for PLC rights. The advantage is a central location to manage users and rights for the PLC access, the PLC OPC UA server, and the PLC web server. After enabling access control, you must create at least one user with full access rights. You can create additional users and roles as well. If we compile the project right now, you will see an error message indicating this. We must now go to the project tree, security settings, users and roles, and we are gonna create a new local user. Give it a username and password. Now go up to the Roles tab, and we are going to create a new role. On the Runtime Rights tab, go over to the Function Rights category and expand open Runtime Rights. Expand open the PLC and select the PLC name. Now we can select the rights for this role. Go back to the Users tab, select the user that you created, and select the role that you created. And now we are going to compile and make sure that error message is gone. And now we can download to the PLC. This is a message saying, do we trust the device we want to download to? Click connect. Click on load to download to the PLC. Put the PLC into run. Click on finish. Here I have PLC Sim Advanced running and I could see that my simulated PLC is in run. Now, if I go online with the PLC, I am being prompted to authorize the connection. Under user type, select project user, type in the user, Click OK. And now that my user is authorized, I am able to have online functionality with the PLC.